Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my pumping routine while we are out and about. We have a concert to go to tonight and I just kind of want to bring you guys along. I think I tried to film this before and the audio on my phone was all messed up so I'm actually using my camera and we are sitting in our driveway right now. We haven't even left yet. But the reason I wanted to bring you guys along is because as of recently, I've been doing something different because I'm down to three pumps per day when it comes to going to concerts, which I'll explain in just a second. But tonight, I'm deciding to do it the same way I used to do it when I was every three to four hours. Now, it's not very typical that we're out and about while I need to pump because I typically schedule things around that. However, when it's things like concerts, I really can't have any say over that. So I kind of have to make do with what I have. So typically, since I am down to three pumps per day, I would pump when I get up in the morning, which is around 7 to 8 a.m., and then again in the afternoon around 2 to 3 p.m., and then right before I go to bed, which is around 10 to 12. Just kind of depends. So typically, that's when I pump, and if this was any other time, I would just pump before we left and then pump when we got home, which would be about like probably like a seven to eight hour stretch just depending on what we end up doing and that typically works for me i'm totally fine with that it might mean pumping at 1 a.m when i get home but that's what i am willing to do because it just makes it nicer we don't have to worry about whether or not i need to pump however with having thrush this past week my whole body is just in a funk my supply has dipped since getting thrush and i just don't feel like chancing it right now it is 4 p.m i just got finished pumping my regular afternoon pump around 3 p.m so I'm all good to go as of right now, but I am going to pump before we go into the concert and then once we go get out. And that's typically what I do if I'm on a three to four hour schedule and that's always worked for me as well. I will say that there have been times where I've pushed pump times or I've left concerts early. When I was newly postpartum with Sophie, my supply was in a little bit of a funk and I didn't want to push it, but I hadn't pumped before for some reason, so I just decided, well, we decided to leave the uh, concert early. So it just really depends on whatever you wanna be doing, whatever you wanna make a priority. And I just try to make my pumping work around my schedule at this point. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I probably won't get a lot whenever I pump before we go into the concert, cause like I said, my body's not used to pumping this frequently, but I also don't think it's a bad thing, all things considered. Um, my bag is packed a little bit differently since having thrush and yeah i'm going to show you the inside of that right now so so this is my medela sonata bag for those of you who don't know it love this thing it's still my favorite bag to take everything in i have my infinity scarf over here i used to use my covered goods cover and i still love it but just as of recently i feel like this infinity scarf gives me more room to work with and that's why i bring it it's also just easier to pump in the car with for some reason i don't know i've just been preferring it so that's what i grabbed then i have my pump to nurse bag which i think this is discontinued if not i will correct myself mark will you unzipper that <laughs> i have one hand thanks but inside I have two entire sets of clean parts and bottles and lids because I do have thrush. Typically I would use my wipes um, right here just to clean one set and I would just bring that for the sake of saving some space. But since having thrush, I have to keep all my parts like super, super clean. I'm sterilizing every single time I use them. It's just a whole thing so I have those inside there and then I did bring these wipes just in case something happens for whatever reason I don't know just brought them just in case I do like the babies RS brand more because they're cheaper and they give you more wipes than the Medela brand and they work just as good then I obviously have my pump and it's filled with fresh batteries and then I'm probably not going to use this but I did put in my bravado clip and pump because I have their nursing cami on right now just in case I do decide I want it and then I have a Medela cooler which is like forever old I've had this thing ever since I got my first pump and sow advanced I think but it just has a little gel pack for on top and then I lay the thick gel pack that the Medela ones come with down here and I take 
the milk that I pump into my bottles and I pour them into breast milk storage bags. So I will pour that into here. I will lay the bags in there and it just saves a ton of space instead of having a whole bunch of bottles. And then I have nursing pads. I have my Lactolite, which is great. It's going to be really useful on the way home so I can see what I'm doing. And then I just have some nipple balm just in case I'm in pain. So that is what the inside of my bag looks like. If Remy was with me, if she was younger, obviously I'd have bottles and stuff so she could eat some fresh milk but she's not gonna be with us and she also doesn't take a bottle anymore so that is what this looks like and if we were going to be staying at somebody's house like if we were taking a trip to somebody's house I would just put this uh, cooler in their fridge and I've never had anybody mind but yeah I just wanted to show you guys the inside of my bag because it's a little bit different than usual and I'm just gonna check in with you guys when I do my pump right before the concert Okay, so it's now 6.30 and we have an hour before the concert. It's not going to take me that entire hour to actually pump, but I'm just going to get started so that way, you know, we have a little extra time beforehand. So I will pan to a shot of me right now actually all set up and kind of explaining it. But as you can see, I already have my seatbelt on. It's just better to buckle first and then set up all your pumping stuff opposed to doing it the other way around in case you're just starting your car and driving. But like I said, I'm going to pan to that shot right now. Okay, so I am all set up now and I am pumping. As you can see, I still have my seatbelt on and my scarf. It's covering uh, not so much of my right side, but that's okay because I have both panels covering that and then I do have it covering my shoulder so everything is all covered up and to kind of show you how I have it set up I just have my pump sitting right here in the center console and the tubing is going up and underneath of the scarf so this is how I do it in the car <laughs> it's a little hard to show you guys everything and hopefully I'm doing an okay job because I only have one hand right now um, we're in like a construction zone and there's like four lanes of traffic and stuff so just too much to be putting on my uh, hands-free pumping bra so I am going to pump and I'll just check in with you guys when I will be dumping my milk into a bag and show you guys that kind of process okay guys so it only took me like 15 minutes to empty on the one side I was thinking I would go like maybe a little extra longer but it started to hurt so I just stopped and I got four ounces after three hours which is pretty typical for what I would have got if I waited my normal amount of time so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in here even though I obviously would have enough space to pump the other side I don't want to run the risk of possibly overflowing this in the middle of pumping because it's just really hard to dump a bottle out when you're on the move so I'm going to put this in a bag right now my only tip for pouring is to Wait until you're stable and pour as fast as you can, as confidently as you can. I've had some spills, not many, but right now we're going around a turn, so that's why I'm waiting. Okay, so let's pour it real quick. So I'm going to get as much air as I can out, but I'll worry about getting all of it out when I pump the other side and... I put it in the cooler. But right now, I was just worried about dumping it, getting it in the bag, and I will stick it. You know what? I'm probably just gonna leave it here until I get it, get the other side pumped, just so it doesn't start mixing temperatures. They can both be fresh room temp. So I'm going to pump the other side now. Okay, so we are actually at the parking place that we decided upon, so I can have you guys propped. And I just wanted to show you, like, this is what it looks like when I'm pumping. So you literally can't see anything. My flange is right there. And I'm obviously all covered. The side of me is covered. So this works out really well. I don't have my seatbelt on anymore because we're parked. But I'm going to show you guys because I'm about to be done. Um, 
it did take a little bit longer to empty this breast than the other one I'm on 18 minutes um, but I think it was just because getting here was kind of stressful so I was distracted and um, I didn't have the best time like lining my nipple up in the flange the easiest so first things first I take the tubing off which you guys won't be able to see but just attach the tubing and then I have a breast pad over here that I'm opening with one hand I'm like looking around to see if anybody is coming Mark's about to get in the car okay so I just got a clean breast pad and I'm putting it over my boob and I kind of hold that in place with my one arm switch. And Mark, can you hold that for me please? Sometimes I'll have him hold it, other times I'll just kind of make do with like what I showed you guys. I was holding it between my legs the last time, but I'm just clipping my tank top and then there you go. Uh, the nice thing about the tank top is that you can use that two shirt method. So my whole stomach and my sides not hanging out even though I have this shirt pulled up. And what I'm gonna do now, Ugh. have a hair from the scarf so I just have that bag that I used earlier and I'll try to show you guys I was trying to tell you that just try to pour as fast as you can I feel like the slower I go with pouring when it comes to breast milk in the bag I just make more of a mess so I just literally hold it open pour straight down side so resting that on my bag and then I am getting all the air out of here I am going to put the breast milk in here like that and then just put the gel pack over there and then close it up and then I'm just going to pack my bag up we're going to go to the concert and I will check back in with you guys before I pump well while we're on our way home but I will check in with you guys then so it is now 11 o'clock and we just got back from the concert. I'm sorry if I'm yelling and like half deaf right now, but we are gonna go on our way home. And I'm not gonna be able to show you guys much, but I will show you what the lactolite looks like in the dark in case you haven't seen that before. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pump it on check in with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I'm all done pumping and I got the good amount that I was supposed to. I got it all in bags and put away. It's now 12.30 and we have about 20 minutes until we get home but with the lactolite you just pop it on your flange just like I did when I was talking to you guys and you just press the button and it lights up so I'll turn my light off and show you guys what it looks like in the dark here but this is the white it's coming up a little blue but as you can see it's really lighting up a good bit and then this is the blue option so that helps a lot whenever you're pumping in the car I love this thing but I'm gonna put this away I'm gonna put everything away and yeah so sorry for like the horror movie lighting here but like I said it's now 12 30 so that's my last pump of the night when I get home I'll be able to just take my makeup off and go to bed but I hope this was helpful for you guys and yeah I just kind of wanted to bring you along and what a night looks like while we're out and me pumping like I said, I hope it was helpful, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.